Hi guys, thank you for tuning into this video called What does the European Union know about cookies and uh, user experience? Um, so this is this is uh, a debate in Denmark right now uh, about uh, you know uh, the use of cookies and uh, the the EU directive about uh, this and how it has been implemented in Denmark. Um, my name is Chris, thank you for watching. If you don't know me, I'm a full-time freelancer, web designer and developer. And I have this YouTube channel where I talk about these things, uh, but I also talk about, you know, uh, marketing and business development and, uh, you know, design development, user experience, all these great things and uh, the experience economy, uh, which I think is so very important. If you have any questions or comments, free, feel free to write them in the comment section below or connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Always uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to be uh, updated with new videos. I usually put out new videos uh, every Friday. Not next Friday though. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, I won't have time to do a, a video uh, since I'm uh, going on vacation with my family. So uh, I hope you understand. Um, but you know back to the cookie thing. Uh, in uh, 2013, the EU uh, uh, made some laws that uh, uh, had some effect on the, the Danish laws, which we have to follow. Uh, and um, just to visualize it, you can see it down here uh, in the bottom bottom of the screen. Uh, suddenly, these uh, these uh, cookie messages started popping up on uh, websites um, and you can see it uh, on a uh, different uh, few different sites here uh, same thing but in another form and lastly here on the, on this website and uh, the matter of the the, the cookie uh, question is you know uh, that the EU wants to, wants to uh, protect the the users of the the EU countries, so they want them to acknowledge or accept that the websites use cookies to, uh, for example, collect information uh, for statistics and so on. Um, so a lot of uh, a lot of people down there in in the EU spent some time to figure out how this was best done and 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 figure out some rules for doing this and uh, it resulted in some laws and the uh, laws about you know that you should uh, pop up this message uh, and have the user accept that the uh, site uses cookies and the site have to uh, explain how they use cookies um, so in the beginning, uh, well, some people were against it. Some people uh, didn't think it was would be a, a big problem. But um, soon the tendency was that a, a lot of websites didn't pay attention to this. They didn't uh, actually put up the uh, cookie uh, message. And um, the problem is, uh, if no one uh, you know upholds the, lo the laws you can't really go and uh, you know punish any anyone by uh, by finding them um, but uh, as time went on uh, more and more websites uh, actually followed the, these laws uh, but uh, the the latest uh, sort of um, you know uh, experience or or, or uh, statistics on this uh, the, the information collected about the uses of this uh, tells us that people actually just, just click OK and doesn't read what it's all about and most people don't know what uh, it's all about and um, they pretty, not, pretty much don't care and um, so in effect we have a law that uh, made the website owners put this on the website and spend time and money on this uh, uh, which in effect doesn't work because the users really don't care and really just uh, click on the OK button to, to get to the website and um, Working with the user experience uh, design uh, for some time now, you know, I've I've seen this in many many uh, uh, occasions happen. You know, if you pop up a a a, a box, a message on uh, on the user screen, uh, you know, 
a big percentage of them will just click OK or just click away from that box because they they have other things to do. And uh, as my early early days as <clears throat> sorry as a technical supporter, I also uh, experienced this a lot of times. You know, when people get an error message, they tend just to to click OK or, or click the 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 exit button you know because they they don't read it and uh, I think that's what uh, what is happening here so uh, this is pretty much useless uh, but uh, by law I have to be implemented on uh, on any website using cookies uh, and uh, I read an article um, a few days back about how this could be done uh, better. Um, um, in in uh, the earlier uh, versions of uh, uh, Internet Explorer, there were a feature uh, actually designed for this, where you in your uh, browser went in and uh, specified which uh, which information, what type of information you would allow uh, websites to collect. Um, and I think this would be a much uh, easier way to do it because you you. Uh, you would have uh, the user, uh, uh, the user, you know, uh, think about this only once and and uh, and figure out which uh, information to to uh, to give out. And you know, these these rules rules can be very complicated because you know standard websites may not use a lot of cookies. But um, suddenly, you know, if you uh, if you embed video on your, if you embed a YouTube video on your website and the YouTube video uses cookies, you have to account for this too. So it can it can quickly get, uh, you know, really really uh, complicated. So it, it, in my point of view, it would be much easier uh, just to, to. Uh, just to 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 get the user to make these choices once and for all. But I really wanted to know what do you think about this? You know what what do you think about this way of uh, of implementing uh, such a a message uh, for the user? And uh, do you in in your country um, have this uh, this problem or? or uh, or, or, or how do you look at this? Um, and is it is it really you know the cookies is is such a a basic part of the uh, of web design and web development today? So is it really necessary to to go through all this to to uh, protect protect the 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 users of website? Don't they already know that uh, information is collected? Uh, as I said, I, re I would really love to hear you, uh, your thoughts about this. Write them in the comment section below, and uh, let's uh, let's uh, get some interesting uh, you know, views on this and how this could be uh, solved. Um, as always, don't be a stranger. See you later. Bye.